Good morning everyone, welcome to my vlog all the way from Dubai. We landed last night in Dubai at like midnight. Hello guys. But we didn't sleep till like 2 a.m. Mainly because Illy decided he wanted a feast. I got ordered. a whole feast yesterday. I ordered like seven different dishes into the room. Because basically we were meant to have dinner here last night. So we got some credit that I was able to use. So I just used it all up. <laughs> yeah, so and I just feast went to myself. straight to sleep. But I look <sighs> so pale and I'm hoping it's just this lighting. But oh my god, okay, this is a bit bad. It's so hot. We've woken up, it's like 9am and we're going to go have breakfast and then we've got a chill day planned today by the pool, which I'm so excited for. Are we going to the I'm pool or the beach? I'm sweating already. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got a beach, like, oh this is the view by the way from the hotel. We've got a beach, um, it's like part of, where? That's our beach there, I think. Part of like our resort, which is nice feeling very happy and lucky to be here this is my outfit for today it's actually a swimsuit it's from riot swim r-i-o-t swim and then the super dry shorts super dry sandals and then a little riot swim bag as well what are you wearing babe um tommy no, nothing that cool tommy, tommy and, and ralphie nice and so. brooks <laughs> We're just really excited for our first day in Dubai and let me tell you something, we have so much planned this trip. Like, yeah. we have a lot planned this trip, so Hopefully stay tuned. Hopefully we can tuned. record most of it, because most <laughs> yeah. of it is like in the water, so I don't know how we're going to record it. Yeah, if anything, we'll just hopefully take it on the phone and it'll be fine. We'll see you guys when we're down at breakfast. I'm going to be releasing this vlog when we've already left the hotel, so I'll just tell you guys where we're staying. We're staying at a place called the Fairmont on the Palm which we last time we came here we didn't stay in the palm we stayed in old dubai so it's like very different scenes out here yeah <laughs> and it's very nice i showed you some of the hotel last night but like everything's just so big and extravagant here it's so nice it is very nice <laughs> We're down by the pool now and it's so nice. Oh my god, I can't wait to get in this boiling. I don't know if you can hear me because there's a waterfall and it's really loud. But um, we found a nice spot by the pool and it's like a little private pool, like there's nobody here. I won't get anyone in it. But, um, yeah, basically all the other beds were taken by the other pools, so here we are. I've already had to get changed out of my swimsuit because I was sweating too much in that. So I put a bikini on now instead. Um, and obviously I've had to chuck my hair up because yeah, the, the sweat is real right now. This is how we're gonna be spending our morning though. <sighs> Yo, what's going on? What's poppin'? I don't know what I've actually vlogged today. I feel like I haven't Not much. that much. Not much vlog, sir. So, sorry about that. I need to get back into it. But we had like a pretty chill afternoon after lunch. Oh, I forgot to show you lunch. No, yes. I showed half. I showed the bread. You showed and the then... bread that they brought out. And then Did we... you show the beach? Sorry to interrupt. No. You didn't show the beach. We went to the beach as well, yeah. and we went for a little swim, and we saw some fish. The sea was literally warmer than the pools here. It was like, it it was was like, like a warmer. bath, it was so nice. We didn't actually get too burnt today. I mean, I look a little rosy. We're now about to go for dinner. It's actually really early. We're kind of having an early evening tonight because we want to sleep earlier to then wake up early because we've got, got a, a busy fun day. day tomorrow. Very Gym, early. Yep, gym at hopefully breakfast. six, then breakfast, then we're going to Atlantis. Atlantis, the palm. Which is a water park, which is like So if the palm's the like, palm. actually the palm's like, uh, like this sort of mm -hmm. thing, and it has a road going through the middle, we're like here, and then Atlantis is like here. Yeah, so totally. it's pretty nice and close. Totally. So yeah, going there tomorrow. Where are we going for dinner tonight? Tonight we're going to Ba Baldry. Baboldry, which is a Asian cuisine where they do loads of different meals like sushi. The menu looks insane. Tonight we have to, have 
do what? go to the fountains. Oh, yeah. Like, that's a must. We're definitely going there. Yeah, a social house, I think it's called. A social club no. is the really good restaurant, which is right um, at the bottom. No, mm. what? Yeah, no, basically, Caitlin, my sister came here last week and she said it's permanently closed down. No, temporarily closed down. Social house? Yeah. What? Yeah. How? I've got to tell you. <laughs> No. I don't know, but we'll have to go somewhere else. It is such nice movies. They are the bubbledry. Yep. So we'll see you at dinner. Bubbledry. I just forgot to mention a couple of things that happened today, which were quite um, memorable. So basically, a bird pooed on Illy's head when we were sunbathing. <laughs> I just heard him go, ah, ah, oh, oh. Yeah, and then I was, I was like, like because there's loads of people around and I didn't want to feel embarrassed. I burst out laughing. <laughs> it was funny. It's too bright. Can we move on? Um, it's too bright. But um, she'll insert a clip of that right now. And then another thing that happened is I was laying on one of the sound lounges by the pool and Illy was like, oh, I'm just going to pop to the toilet. Then he came back after like half an hour. I was like messaging him like, are you okay? And then yeah, anyway, he came back with a nice surprise of some ice cream, which yeah. had melted all over his hand, made a I trail all around the pool to get to me. My hand was brown because it, it was covered in chocolate. <laughs> it was covered in chocolate ice cream. And then he, I was like trying to scoop up the mess. And yeah, it was just a disaster. And everyone was staring at us like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, a little bit embarrassing. But Look at the view there. Oh, just That's just so beautiful, isn't it? How hot do you reckon it got today? Ah, uh, the hottest I saw was 38, but it could have got hotter than yeah. that. Because I didn't good. check the I didn't check the temperature all the time. So yeah, pretty hot. I like to be educated. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I wish I knew How much I miss I know I just got back from Dubai <laughs> That's so funny. He's trying to tickle me. Yeah. So yeah, we started vlogging Dubai Mall, the outside. You look like Caitlin. Do I? Yeah. Do I? Yeah. Kate, okay, if you're watching this, at least I look like you. Yeah. Um, yeah, we started vlogging, got in there, and straight away, the security came over. They were like, what are you doing? I was like, Oh, like, sorry, I'm just vlogging. They're like, why? Why are you recording? They got her in a headlock, pinned her down. <laughs> I started, started crying. Pinned her arm back. No, Camera I, confiscated. So basically I said, oh, like, you know, I do a little bit of YouTube. Because I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm just, <laughs> so I'm just doing a holiday vlog. He's like, hmm, let me see your account. And then he started saying, hmm, let me see your passport. And then he was calling, like, management... And he was like, he was like oh yeah, you guys can't leave at the moment. Just yeah. stay here whilst I get this checked they out. They kept us hostage. In a room, dark room, no lights. <laughs> Blindfolded us. No, no it, didn't. it wasn't like that. <laughs> so no, yeah, we. I was actually so scared. I was saying to Illy, like, I was whispering to him going, oh, are we going to get arrested? Like, and he would, yeah. We didn't get arrested, obviously, because we're here. But he was like talking to his management and they said that because it's like a private mall, you're not allowed to film in there. He then made me delete all the footage in front of them and he was making me go through my whole camera to show him what was on there. And there's really ugly pictures of me and Illy. It went, you know the first time picture we took on He started laughing, I was like, oh, that was ages ago. Oh, what? Really? That's why he laughed, because he saw that picture. So, oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that's not very nice. <laughs> and, um, yeah, like, he was joking with us in the end, but he was just, like, no filming. I was like, okay, sorry. So, yeah, sorry, I tried to film to show you our time here, but well, it wasn't point, possible. Man. And also, we were a dis bit disappointed because we couldn't see the fountains tonight. We went for a coffee and Illy got a cocktail, and um, they said, because we're not eating, we can't go outside. <laughs> So yeah, top tip if you want to see the fountains in Dubai, get some dinner. 
whilst you watch the show. Yeah. You look comfy. Very. Yeah, I can't wait to sleep. Anyway, we better, yeah, we better sleep now. Oh, just quickly, Illy got me a little treat because he loves to treat me. He got me this bracelet and this ring to match and they're so pretty. And this is my favorite color. This is actually my birthstone color. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Like an emerald that, green. Definitely. Really pretty. Always know that. So now we need to find, now we need to find Illy a nice souvenir. Anyway, I'm knackered, so. Should we go to sleep? Should we yeah. get some sleep? Good night, guys. Good night. Morning, everyone. It's our second day in Dubai, and today we're going to Atlantis Water Park, which I'm so excited for. I've been looking forward to this, like, since I found out about the trip. As soon as he told me he booked it, I was like, oh my God, we have to go to Atlantis because we had so much fun last time. So basically we woke up at like half six and then went to the gym, which was the sweatiest experience of my life. Working out abroad is actually really hard because it's just like constant streams of sweat. And yeah, it was a good workout though. And then we've come back showered and got ready to go to breakfast. Then we're heading straight to the water park. So got all our stuff with us. And we're hoping to spend like the whole day there. I'm going to try and film as much as I can today on my phone. We've got a waterproof case with us, so we're we'll trying to get as much footage on there as possible. It's another really gorgeous day here. Down there is the area where we like have breakfast, so we're about to head down now and have some yummy food. to make a sound so I am low I gotta keep it down guys we literally had the best day ever I'm so glad we actually managed to film when we were at Atlantis and oh my god I don't know how much footage there is to be fair because there was a bit. just a lot of water and splashing and screaming we were in a bit of a rush because well I had to wash my hair after being at the water park have you got a key card? yeah I don't yeah. have my wallet though so I'm not gonna need that much do I need the camera case? No. Nah. Right. So basically, check the coast is clear. Um, so we went on all the like the rides and things, and then there was this thing where you could like surf Surfing on these waves, simulator. like a simulation thing. Yeah, is that a simulation? Simulator. Stimulate. Simulator. Simulator. <laughs> and um, but you could only go on your knees and then lay down. Can you can stand. actually stand up. And then um, went on it and I was really scared. But I was like, okay, like I'll go on it. <laughs> and then I was doing Damn, like good Ilya was actually really good. <laughs> he was really good and he said he would be and he was. Anyway, I thought I'd be good, but I wasn't really. And I was alright at the start, and then he got me to lay down and um I flew off the board and my bikini top came off me and my boobs were out. In front of everyone. And the, the, there was a guy at the end, like when you Will you see when you come off the end? And he had a towel and he literally quickly held it up because obviously he was like, oh, I don't want to see. 
And um, it was so embarrassing. I was like, I came off and he was like, did you like that? I was like, did you not see my top fly off? He was like, no. But um, God, how out of 10, what would you rate today? Ah, 10. It's always like that. It's just such a good time. If you ever go to Dubai, you have to go to Atlantis. It's just so fun. But we if you like water parks. We were there from when it opened, 9 a.m. to when it closed. <laughs> half, it was, I think it was half five at Shuttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, we were there the whole day. Five, right. And lunch was insane. We got these pokey bowls. They were lush. But they do like bags and things as well. But yeah, we're not going to dinner. We need to go outside. We have the nicest dinner setting tonight. They're doing like a barbecue here. This is like the meat in the fridge. Obviously, I'm not going for that. Are you going for that or not? What? The meat in there for the barbecue. No, I didn't actually. It, to be honest, because the, the steaks they had there were 1,400 dirham. How much which is, is that? Let me just do the math quickly. Um, Probably expensive. Yeah, they look big. Yeah. 300 quid for a steak. Yes. Ah, right. Jacob. <laughs> I'm serious. What? Yeah. They basically. Had, they had some cheaper. Um, it was like king prawns or something, which were probably about 150 quid. And was all right. <laughs> and basically, we're um, half bored, so we actually have dinner included. But obviously, you can pay for supplements, which uh, the barbecue is a supplement. Um, oh, to be honest, oh, I'm not going to forget to mention he did say he gave us a 15% discount for the half board, so yeah, that'd bring that. Maybe you should just go for it. That'd bring that 300 down to like 250 easily. <laughs> but I'm going for a sea bass. And that is actually a supplement dish as well. Is this a good one? To post. That one's you can't see it, it's not focusing. Oh wow, well, that's sick, babe. Look at that. Guess how much that cocktail cost? How much? It was it 18 pounds? It was. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but alcohol on the buy is like that. Yeah, true. I got a rose and I always have to put a little bit of lemonade in because I'm not good with alcohol nowadays. Really? Cheers to a really good day. Cheers. Got some bread. It's, what is it? Tomato and rosemary. Tomato and rosemary. And we had catcher. this yesterday for lunch. It's literally the best thing ever. Like, it's so good. So good. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. A big one. Yeah, thank you. Hello everyone, it's a new day. Ellie's just getting <laughs> And you may wonder why I'm starting a new day dressed up like this. Well, the thing is, it's actually 6.30, I think. I don't know what time it is. Yeah, anyway, 5.30. It's actually 5.30 p.m. and we're about to go for dinner. Today we're on jet skiing and obviously couldn't take the camera. I'm gonna insert footage here of us on the jet skis and oh my God, let me tell you, it was the scariest thing of my life. I was screaming the whole time. I probably am going to have to take the audio out because I was- No, no, we're, we're no. keeping the audio in. We're keeping the audio in because <laughs> it's funny. Okay, well, it's my vlog, not yours. Oh, you got bogey. You actually did. Where is it? They're the nose. Oh. Ew. We're now about to go to the Burj Al Arab. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're now about to go out for dinner at this place. Um, it's a Brazilian place, I believe. Fredo. And um, yeah, I don't know if they cater for vegetarians because we didn't check the menu, but hopefully I can eat something. And then we are off to the Burj Al Arab for some cocktails. Burj Al Arab is the world's only, one and only seven star hotel. It's the most expensive hotel in the world also. And we're going there for drinks. And so there's dress codes. To see it. So this is what I'm wearing. And then Illy just had to get changed because he was in shorts. I was like, babe, you cannot wear those. Um, I'm hoping this outfit's okay. I'm going to obviously wear heels with it. This dress is from Lavish Alice, by the way. And it's so stunning. Like, 
I literally love it so much. I don't know if these earrings match either, but I'm going for the sort of beachy look. We're now about to go shoot some content as well before. So busy, busy evening ahead. Also, actually, I forgot to mention, we aren't actually allowed cameras in the Burj Al Arab. And I don't want what happened in Dubai Mall to happen to us today. So I'm not taking the camera, but do you reckon we can take our phones and- Yeah, we'll try and do a little Try thing. and get footage. But apparently there's like, uh, what well, that's what my friend said is there's always famous people there, which I don't know if that's true or not, but probably is because- We'll try and film for you guys. Celebrities can afford to stay in there. It's literally some rooms that are like 10 grand a night there. It's crazy. So yeah, I'll try and insert footage of that and then tomorrow we're up early going to twiggy's beach club which i've seen influencers go to this beach club and it's meant to be really good so hopefully that will be a good day but yeah sorry for being slack a little bit on the vlogging <laughs> I've got to be so careful because if we get caught, we're in trouble. Yeah, you're not allowed to record here because it's also private. But yeah. We're going to the 27th floor. Yeah, we're going up really well oh now. Oh my god. That's so cool. But yeah, we did a little montage of what it's like at the bottom and tried to. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> One, it's now Friday. No, it's not. It's literally not Friday. It's now Saturday and we are heading to Twiggy's Beach Club today, which I'm so excited for. I don't know if anyone knows this influencer. She's called Freya Killen on Instagram and she basically went to Twiggy's Beach Club and I watched the vlog and it looked really, really good, which is like why I thought we could go there. We have lunch booked there, but we're going to get there early so we can like get a bed for the day and we're going to spend the whole day there. We went to the Burj Al Arab last night and I mean, I tried my best to film. I think I got a little bit of footage in there, but it was really hard because they were, everyone, there was like security everywhere and they were just staring at everyone coming in, everyone walking around the building. It was such an unreal experience. So what I'll say about the Burj Al Arab, like we went to the Skyview bar and basically there was a minimum spend of um, 60 pounds each, I believe. So we, we got two cocktails and that came to 60 pounds each. So yeah, we were there for still quite some time, probably like a couple of hours, which was really nice. But you do have to spend like a minimum amount if you're if you wanting to go there. Other than that, like they don't make you get food or anything. Like they're just quite happy for you to sit and have a drink, enjoy the views. This Skyview bar is on the top floor that you can go on. It's like the 57th floor. The only thing above that on like the opposite side is a helipad, like where hot helicopters land. And we were really high up and it didn't feel scary, like it was fine. We wanted to go to the Gold Souk today after Twiggy's Beach Club, which basically is like this huge market. I think anyway, like I've never been, but I think it's like this huge market that sells loads of gold. I was thinking of just getting a couple of bits, maybe something for our family as well. Have you told them about VIP Motors yet? No, I haven't told them about that. We're going to VIP Motors, the world's biggest showroom of like exotic cars. They've got like over a hundred Lamborghinis on show. At least desperate it's to go there. So be nuts. <laughs> I think basically we're hoping to go Twiggies, then to the Gold Souk. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Or Golden Souk? No, Gold Souk. Gold Souk. And then, oh my god, I sweat your pillow. Yeah. And then to VIP Motors because it's all like in a close in a row. proximity. It's kind of yeah. Phew. Another busy day, which I'm very excited for. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Let's get it. Let's get to Twiggies. Okay, bye. So we've arrived at Twiggies and we got turned away. <laughs> that was uh, embarrassing. A little bit annoying. So basically, we booked a table for lunch, which is at 12:30, and we thought we'd be able to just turn up and like rent a bed but we they're just, fully booked we just paid for a 40 quid taxi to get here yeah it's like 45 minutes away 
<laughs> so um, they oh. turned us away, said, you know, there's 220 people turning up today, like you can't just have a bed. <laughs> so they were like, come back at lunch and you might like get lucky after lunch, but I really highly doubt it. Yeah. This well, place seems popular. We really fumbled this one. But they said go to the lobby of this hotel and they might, and have, they a might have a pool hotel. or something that we can spend the morning at, but I just don't even have high hopes. So guys, just heads up. You pre need to pre-book. <laughs> Maybe we're just dumb. Like I don't know why I didn't. I didn't think of it. Well, I thought if we book lunch, we can automatically get a bed. That's what I thought. How do we get to this blue dome? I don't know, and we're walking on the road. Okay, this is not going well. <laughs> Confidence is key, baby. I don't know if we've got away with it or not, but they're taking us to the pool, I think. But they didn't ask for a name or a reservation. So. No, it's because we just. Well, it's because it's because I just said. Can you take us to the pool area, please? <laughs> he was like, um, okay. Um, he was like, uh, sure. I was like, and I'm Fingers assuming you provide towels as well, right? <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, right, let's pray for us. Pray for us. Inceptions. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new <laughs> Hello! In focus We're back from... Sorry, just some camera difficulties We're back from the beach club And we actually did a few things on the way back Illy, it's what? blurry again When you come back, it's not You just got to click it not happening. Right, anyway, sorry about the camera quality. So yeah, I got declined from Twiggies, which is fair enough because it's our own fault for not booking. Then we went to that other place with the pool and they let us in, but we did pay, was it £100? Uh, 110. Yeah, 110. It was 110 pounds for both of us to stay by the pool all day, which, you know, isn't cheap, but we didn't really have much choice. So we did that. And the pool was actually lush, like it was so nice. And then we did go to Twiggy's at 12.30 for our lunch reservation. And then after that, we went to the Gold Souk, which again, a bit of a disappointment. So Illy was expecting to buy a nice like ring and I was gonna get something, but it was way more expensive than we thought it would be. So like, for example, was it a bracelet was like 700 pounds? Yeah. Like this like tiny it. little gold bracelet was 700 pounds. A little signet ring on the pinky. 400 pounds for a little tiny ring like we just thought it'd be a little bit cheaper than that or and a lot a bit cheaper than that Dude, so yeah, it could be down to us not knowing the gold prices <laughs> that's i don't think it was that expensive yeah i uh, think we were just expecting good discounts yeah from what i heard it, like the prices just they were meant to be quite good but i guess that is subjective so whoever yeah. said that yeah. online <laughs> very, very rich lastly we went to VIP cars, is that, what, is that what it's called? VIP motors. VIP motors and Illy wanted to see all the cool cars in there, so, that so um, I've inserted, or I will insert some footage here. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting, by the way, like, hotel lighting is disgusting. Like, I look just, yeah, I mean, this is a little bit better, maybe. Still not really a vibe. Now we're about to go for dinner. I really couldn't be bothered to get ready tonight, so I'm going for the no makeup, slick hair look, and just comfy trousers, and a little bandeau. Oh, yeah, I've got a little bit burnt today, which isn't... Very good. Anyways, are you ready to go for dinner? Because I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Morning everyone, I'm actually ending this vlog today, it's now Sunday and I'm gonna do a part two to the vlog because otherwise it's just gonna be like really long because 
we have a lot planned over the next few days as well can i just say last night we went for an indian and oh my god it was the most incredible food i've ever eaten in my life it was like so authentic i had a lentil like dal curry and it was illy preferred it to his chicken one he tried mine well he had like half of mine and he really liked it so yeah it was uh, it was actually unreal also we didn't realize it's actually a michelin star restaurant so the service was like it was just impeccable to be honest like the best restaurant i think what i've ever been to word. impeccable wow. i like that word Very fancy. thank you guys for watching the first part of my dubai vlog and i hope you tune in for the next part don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and turn on your notifications if you want to see part two of this vlog hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you guys for watching are you gonna say bye yeah Bye. See you in part two. <laughs> be there. Or be square.